I'm back, my pet. And look, I have brought you lunch. Are you really just going to sit there and not eat? Is this some sort of protest? You can pout all you want. I'm not letting you go. And no one is finding you here. So you may as well get used to this life and let the Stockholm Syndrome just take over already. I know, I know. That look in your eyes hasn't changed since the first day I abducted you. That fire behind them. That anger and rage. You hate me, don't you? The evil villain who took you from your home and keeps you locked away where the world can't find you. That's okay, my pet. You can hate me. Because no matter how strong your hatred is, I'm not letting you go. I'm not losing another pet. Never again. My last one. They were so perfect. Their eyes were so wide with fear when I first brought them down here. They hadn't the slightest clue what they were in for. Of course I didn't hurt them. Same as with you. You're all too perfect to damage. I just... I just want to admire you all. Just keep you here and admire you. But my last pet, they grew so spiteful and vengeful. They never let me just take care of them. Very much like you. The only difference is I was foolish back then. My last pet was crafty and they took advantage of my emotions. They rubbed their wrists and pouted and sighed and lamented about how tight the chains were and... How they longed just to feel the breeze on their soft, perfect skin. And being the fool that I was at the time, I I obliged. One crisp morning, I undid their chains and brought them above ground. I thought that maybe if I showed them what they wanted, they'd give me what I wanted and stay with me forever. Instead, they attacked me, punched me in the gut and clawed at my eyes with their hands, They were merciless with how they hurt me. To this day, I still carry the scars. I've been traumatized by the words they yelled as they kicked me, and as they ran away, I I knew I had to relocate and start all over again. But this time, I would be smarter. And that's where you come in, my new pet. (laughs) My new favorite toy. No matter how much you glare or snarl and refuse my advances, sooner or later, you'll just have to give in. Because I know what happens when I give my pets an inch. They turn around and they take a mile. I'm perfectly fine being your villain, your monster incarnate, because at the end of it all, while your stomach growls from refusing the food I lovingly give you, and your hair becomes tangled since you won't let me just brush it at night, and your clothes become more tattered because you won't let me undress you, you still belong to me. And nothing, nothing you can think of in that pretty little head of yours is going to change that.